Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and for today's video I'll be showing you all one of the best home remedies for reducing or even completely stopping hair fall. The number one reason for hair loss is stress. This can be physical, mental and even emotional stress. Stress leads to extended periods of high cortisol levels. While the adrenal glands are busy making extra cortisol, they make less of the hormones that support healthy hair growth which means when you brush your hair, you will see a lot of hair shedding off. Today's remedy will only work if you from now on take a firm decision of making sure to not take any more stress. You will thank me later for this. So for today's remedy, you will need Kalonji. It's also known as Nigella sativa or black cumin. You can find this easily in an Asian food store. The second ingredient is castor oil. Make sure it's 100% pure castor oil. Mine is from Art Naturals. Next, you will need some store-bought aloe vera gel. You can also use the leaf of an aloe vera plant for this in case you don't have some store-bought aloe vera gel. For this home remedy, you will also need some vitamin E capsules and olive oil. To make this remedy, first you need to grind 3 to 4 tablespoons of kalonji into fine powder. Make sure it's completely grinded you don't want any black seeds stuck on your hair. The finer it is, the creamier the paste will be and the easier the application will be. To this, add 2 tablespoons of castor oil. Then add 2 tablespoons of aloe vera gel. Next, carefully cut 3 vitamin E capsules and squeeze out the content of the capsule on the bowl. After that, add 1 tablespoon of olive oil. Make sure the olive oil is virgin and cold pressed. Mix the ingredients into a paste. If the paste seems too thick, you can add water to it. I added about 1 4th cup of water and then continued mixing. So now that the remedy is ready, we can start with the application. Start by brushing your hair to make sure that there are no tangles. This will allow smooth application of the remedy. Divide your hair into two equal parts and then tie up one side of the hair. Here I am just tying it into a bun. Then you can subdivide your hair and tie up the part you will work on later. Once you're ready for application, you can then wear some disposable gloves and start applying on the chosen scalp area. Over here, I'm just taking a stiff brush and applying the remedy to my scalp. This method will make sure that my scalp is completely saturated with the remedy. Try to go deep into your roots. Here are some reasons as to why these ingredients reduce or even stop hair fall. Kalonji or Nigella sativa seeds has a history of being used to treat thinning hair and baldness. Dating back to ancient Egypt, it was documented that these small black seeds allowed Cleopatra to achieve her shiny, luscious hair. Even if you're not experiencing hair loss, black seed will naturally moisturize your scalp, reducing itching and dryness. There have also been numerous scientific studies that prove that using Kalonji seeds or better, using Kalonji oil has resulted in reversed baldness. Castor oil contains ricinolic acid. It's an omega-9 fatty acid that can penetrate into the pores of the skin and the hair follicles. It provides nourishment, enabling the hair follicles to restore growth to a normal level. It also protects existing hair follicles and keeps hair from being shed too quickly. Aloe vera contains vitamins A, C and E. All of these vitamins promote healthy cell growth and shiny hair. Aloe vera also has vitamin B12 and folic acid, which helps in prevention of hair fall. Not only this, aloe vera has the incredible ability to increase blood circulation to an area. When you use aloe vera on your hair and scalp, blood flow to your scalp increases, which in turn means more hair growth. Vitamin E is an antioxidant that helps repair and build tissue. When you apply vitamin E to your scalp, it helps reduce inflammation and repair damage to the follicles, and healthy follicles encourage hair growth. 
Lastly, olive oil increases the elasticity of the hair. Your hair needs to be elastic to prevent against pulling off when you brush or blow dry. Olive oil is also antimicrobial, which means bye-bye dandruff. Not only that, it also moisturizes your scalp and is extremely wonderful for dry hair. After you're done applying the entire remedy, you can tie up your hair and then cover your head with a plastic cover. You can then wash your hair after 30 minutes using your shampoo and conditioner. Okay guys, so this is my hair after it has naturally dried. Do this remedy 3 times a week if you want to see a result in 30 days. Also, if you try this remedy out, let me know in the comment section down below if this remedy was helpful for you. If you guys loved my video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. This is Kaur, signing off.